Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits and the 2003 Acura TL. We'll start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, you'll need another small Phillips screwdriver, some type of uh, panel removal tool, but you can also use a screwdriver with tape over it and 8mm socket. You can use it with a ratchet but we're using it like this. So we're gonna start by using a tool like this one, the panel tool. Uh, actually we're gonna be using our hands first so sometimes you can get it off by just your hands but we're gonna pop this off make sure that the car is uh, on the foot brake so it doesn't roll anywhere because we're gonna have to put it to neutral so I'm gonna put it to neutral even lower to drive and we're gonna remove this panel here where you have the heated seats there's this small piece that we're gonna first pop off it just comes off like that then we're gonna get our hands around here and take this panel off this is where you have your heated seat switches so once you have it in this position we're gonna have to pop the switches up I'll show you in a sec how we're gonna do that so if you see they're popping up and why we're doing that is because we have to get to these connections here and disconnect the switches so they just come off they're held in by this clip but if you just push them up they're gonna come off same with the second switch I'm just gonna raise it up and disconnect it and once you do that, this plastic panel will come off. Just like that. And the second step is to remove the, the two wood trim pieces. I'm gonna start from this corner, but just raising it up. And it's just held on clips. As you can see this metal clips uh, so there's five clips right here so on this side I'm gonna do the same on this side so you don't really have to have this tool but because you just pop it out a corner and work your way up Off. Same thing on this side, there's five clips. And we're put this away. And once you did that, we're gonna remove the cup holder. This is uh, good if you want to put all the screws and bolts here because this car has a lot of them. And we're gonna take our Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna take our eight, eight millimeter. So we'll start off from this, from here. We're gonna we'll remove this and you're gonna see there's two Phillips screws there. So we're gonna undo those. Uh, once you work your way down, there's two more here. Another two. Uh, these two right here, you don't have to remove. From what I remember, actually no, you have to remove all of them. So all the screws, Starting from here all the way up to the radio, you're gonna have to remove. So as you can see, why I was saying the eight millimeter, it, this it's right here, the two eight millimeters. There's also two eight millimeters right there at the back. So there's one here and one right there. Uh, there's also two Phillips screws right here on the sides. So once you have the, the two plastic the plastic piece here and the two sides removed we're gonna start all the way back from there and remove all of this and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so we also have to remove this panel right here and to do that uh, we're gonna have to undo this uh, fuse cover and we're just gonna stick our panel here and uh, it comes off you're gonna see that there is one Phillips screw here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw. So we just removed the two, uh, the one bolt on the side. We removed all the screws and bolts here. And now this uh, panel <coughs> underneath uh, the steering wheel is gonna come off too. So we're just gonna 
pull it down. You don't have to disconnect anything, we're just gonna drop it down. And why we're doing that is because there's another Phillips screw right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that uh, last Phillips screw. So we removed that last screw right now. I also showed you in the beginning of the video that we need a uh, small Phillips screwdriver and this is to get uh, this particular bolt. Also if you want to take the upper trim off, uh, there's two Phillips screws here so you just gotta use a smaller screwdriver. That's why I showed it in the beginning. So now that you've done all of this work, you're gonna start from here and you're gonna move this uh, whole armrest uh, off. You're also gonna raise this and remove it now that it, you have all the screws taken out. So now this is where the car starts to uh, take, start to come all apart. Now we're gonna take these uh, side panels off and they're held on uh, how many clips so there's one clip on top and two on the side so one on top and one at the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side right here so we're just gonna clip it off and then pull it towards you and it comes off this side actually has uh, Two clips on the front. I'm gonna come off. Once you've done that, uh, this piece is also gonna come off. But you gotta undo the two bolts over there, and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And also, uh, we're gonna lift this uh, panel up. And uh, that is for the radio to come off. As you can see, this edge goes over uh, the actual radio. So we're just gonna pop it off. And uh, this is enough space to get the radio out. But if you can't get it off, you, you're gonna have to undo the two Phillips screws that I showed earlier. But we're not gonna do that because this is enough room for us. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the two eight millimeter bolts in the bottom there. So we just removed the two eight millimeter bolts and this uh, panel is ready to come off. So we're just gonna take it and put it to the side. And uh, we're almost at the end of taking all the bolts out. There's two final bolts and they're right here, the two bottom ones, they're holding the radio in. And we're gonna go ahead and remove them right now. So before removing the radio, we're gonna show you our kit and it looks like this. Uh, this is the connection that's gonna go at the back of the radio and on the other side you have an auxiliary cable and also the iPod iPhone cable. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the radio and there's gonna be an open slot and we'll show you and this is where the kit is just gonna plug in. You don't have to cut or splice any wires. It's just plug and play. So we're just gonna remove the radio and at the back here there's a connection right here and this is where our kit is going to go. So we're going to take our kit and we're going to plug it in just like that. Uh, also some people instead of doing all this work they just uh, remove uh, They just remove this panel on the side and plug it in at the back. But uh, you can do it that way, but if you need to remove the kit, it's almost impossible to remove it like that. And that's why we're showing all the steps. Plus, uh, we're gonna show you, this is a good way because if you wanna run the wires into this armrest, uh, you, everything is apart and you can do it. With the armrest, we already drilled the hole here. Uh, right where my finger is showing if you can see so th this is where we're gonna put the wires for our iPod and auxiliary and so they're gonna be in the in the middle console and uh, if you do it 
if you plug in the kit by the side it's almost impossible to put the kit into the armrest so this is why we're doing it the long way so once you have the kit plugged in we're gonna put in our key and uh, put it to first position to turn the radio on so this is a uh, just our regular FM we're gonna press the CD button uh, if you have the CDs loaded inside, it would first go to your CD changer and then you press it again, it's going to go to the CD1 mode. So it's going to say this 4 track 7 or it's also might say this 1 track 7. So this is where you can just plug in the auxiliary uh, on your iPhone or any MP3 device and it's going to start playing. But uh, we're going to show you how to control the iPod iPhone. Uh, once you plug it in, it's gonna start charging. I don't know if you're gonna see it. Uh, so we're gonna go to our iTunes. So when it shows here disc one, track one, this is your hybrid mode. So in this mode, the iTunes is unlocked. So I can s uh, just put the music on here. I can switch the music from here. I can also switch the music from the actual radio. If I use the uh, seek skip uh, buttons, I can also advance through the songs, but only forward through the steering wheel. And and the other mode that we have is uh, uh, to listen to your music by playlist. But on this car, I would not really suggest using it. If you go to disc two, that's gonna be if you just press two, it's gonna go be your first playlist. And now your iTunes is locked so you can't change anything from here only from the radio so with this car it doesn't show text and it's really makes it complicated if you go to this three it's gonna be your second playlist and so on there's only five playlists supported here and if you want to get your iTunes unlocked again you just press disk one and boom it unlocks it so uh, this is pretty much uh, as for using your six display will still work all, all the other features of the radio will still work the same way. So that's pretty much for uh, controlling the iPod iPhone, the auxiliary. It's very simple. And uh, otherwise, that's it uh, for the installation. Uh, you can also put the cable into the glove box because if you drop the radio down, you can just reach your hand into the glove box and drop the cable in there. But we think that putting it in an armrest is the best place in this car and uh, we're gonna keep the module right here so we're just gonna run this cable along this side right here like that and underneath here uh, we're doing that because if something goes wrong down the road you need to replace something you don't have to take this whole thing apart again you just get to the module get to your iPod cables what if they get disconnected from here so it's better to keep it here and plus it gives you more wire when you're feeding it into the armrest. Uh, make sure you don't lose any screws and, uh, and bolts and make sure you put all of them back. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this was a video for GTA car kits in the 2003 Acura TL. And I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.